Okay guys, so I thought for our first activity, it'd be a good idea to talk about germs. Not necessarily the COVID-19 virus, but just ways that we can be more conscious about keeping ourselves clean and healthy. So, the first thing you were supposed to do was watch a video by Mark Rober. He does an experiment with something called glow germ, which we would all need UV flashlights or black lights and that product, which we don't have, so we're gonna do something a little different. So if you haven't watched the video, go do that now. And hopefully you've watched it now. If you haven't, go. You can pause this video and do it. Now, we're gonna need a couple of things for this activity. We're gonna do something similar, not exactly the same, just because, you know, we don't have all that stuff. So here's some things you'll need. You'll need about four things. You're going to need some lotion. Mrs. Smithers was nice enough to let me borrow hers. You're going to need something small like pepper. Glitter works the best because it's small and it already is super sticky on its own. But you might be like me or Mrs. Gazelle and feel this way about glitter. Ta, glitter, glitter. No, glitter gets everywhere. There is no getting rid of it once it comes out. So if you feel that way about glitter like we do, Use something like pepper or rice. Rice won't work as well because it's so big, it's easy to wipe off. But you'll need that. You'll need something to wipe your hands off with, a paper towel, a hand towel. And then you're gonna need soap and water because that's how we clean our hands. Okay, so we're gonna start. Step one is to put a little bit of lotion on your hands, okay? Now you wanna get it all over your hands, the front, the back, make yourself slimy, kind of. Now, this is just to help the germs stick to your hands. This isn't really how it looks for normal. Get some, I'm using pepper because I don't like glitter. Put it in the palm of one hand. Now, you're gonna close the hand, make a tight fist predict what's going to happen when you open your hand will all the germs stay in one place are they going to move are they going to magically disappear did you crush them probably not so predict say out loud i think this is going to happen and then open your hand and check well for me it got on my fingers now step two you are going to put your hands together Make a prediction. What's going to happen when you take your hands apart? Is it going to be on both hands? Is it going to only stick to one hand? Make a guess. Say it out loud. I think this is going to happen. Say it. Open your hands and look. Yeah. Now it's on both hands. Okay. So now think about, you know, the way you touch your hands sometimes or maybe you touch your face. You're probably going to get pepper, yeah, somewhere else. And if you have a partner who's willing, maybe mom or dad or brother or sister, give them a high five. Shake their hand. Do you think the glitter will get onto them? I mean, not glitter, or your germs. Do you think they'll get to them? Probably. It seems to be spreading pretty easy. So, with all of that in mind, I need to go wash my hands real quick. So, here's how we're going to finish the activity. You're going to make a chart. And you need to pick five items in your house that you feel are commonly touched, specifically by hands. Not your legs or whatever, like you sit down in a chair. You don't really touch your face a lot with your legs. So, with that in mind, pick five things that you think are the most touched in your house. For example, I would say maybe my front door. You know, the handle on my front door. So, I will pick an amount of time, let's say one day, and I will observe how many times that door handle is touched. And I'll put a little tally mark each time it gets touched. Okay? Now, <coughs> with that in mind, do that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. So, with that in mind, pick five things. Tally mark how often each thing is, is touched by hands for a day. Add it up, see which thing gets touched the most, 
and then ask whoever cleans, if it's you, how often do you clean that thing? How dirty do you think it is? How many germs are probably on that surface? And with that being said, good luck with the activity. If you need me, let me know. And let's just be a little more thoughtful about where our hands have been.